Welcome to RPA. In this video, we'll cover it about how to handle drop down list and list boxes in robot framework. So whenever we are doing automation activity inside the farm, we'll find it out different drop down lists are available. You can see like this. So these are the single drop down list. And here, if you can see their list boxes are also available. So I will show you how to handle these contains in robot framework or how to handle these components or these components using robot framework so let's go to right create a new test case for creating this new test case just right click on this and Select new test case and here you can add drop down as a name of your test case. Now select this test case so that we are able to run it. Here you can open the browser and after opening the browser just copy and paste this URL so that this will open in browser and add the browser name as a Chrome here because I am using Chrome you can use other browser name as well uh, now we have maximized window just press control space bar and you will find it out this option now this will maximize our browser window screen so that we are able to select any specific components so now we have to handle first drop down list it means this one so for handling this we can perform in multiple ways so i will show you all three components first you can just select press control space bar space control so here you can handle by select from list by index, select from list by level or select from list by value. So by using these three components, we can handle all the drop down list which is available inside our form. So let's see one by one. First, let's go ahead with the value or let's go ahead with the index. So here I am continuing with this now, now next jump to this option and inspect the element. Once I'll inspect the element, you will find it out name of this drop down box. So the name of this drop down box is continents. So copy this name, copy this and paste it to here. Now Whenever we are working with the index type, it index is always working in Python 0 to n. So this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If I want to select fifth position, I need to write here fifth. Now let's add some sleep time here and run this script. And again close the browser. Control space bar, you will find it out the option. Let's run this and see the result. Now it will launch the browser, go to the URL, then maximize the window. After maximizing the window, it will find it out location or the drop down list and select and wait for three seconds. Pause that, it will close the browser. So, this method we are using, you can see North America is a fifth position. We can also change its other contents as well. Now we can see it's passed here and our execution report is generated. So if we want to select some other option, we can also do that. So just to go to editor here and change the value to 4. Now we have another option as well. So select from press control space bar you will find it out second option by label 
no no this one i will use it here list by label so this option will give us the option of selecting by label so how we can identify again name is same but we are going to use here any of the label like this time i am going to use antarctica so this will select by label name as antarctica so here i will copy and paste this option so that it will select this option now if i want to comment this rows then it will be commented just see this and now run this code we'll find it out the answer or the output with label as well so here just run this first save it and run it now it will maximize the window and go to antarctica location and select the location close the browser it's too fast we are not able to see it so here we can add one sleep time sleep of three seconds then we are able to see the result Now you can see selected Antarctica, wait it for 3 seconds and close the browser. So this is how we can handle it by using these two methods. Third options, for using third option, we will need here inside the option there is an attribute. So if your website or web page contain after option there is an attribute uh, with the name value is available, we can use that value and call it. Otherwise, if your website does not contain these value inside the options, so option is having an attribute name value in HTML and whenever we have the value data inside the value, then only we can use the third option. Otherwise, it's not possible to use it here. So by this way, we can handle using all three methods of drop down using robot framework. Let's see how we can work it when we are working with multiple selection method that is list box. So let's create one more test case here and add the name as a list box. When we will add the list box name, we have to again create the open browser. Then inside the open browser, we have to provide the location and the browser name. Then maximize window. Now here again, we will use it select least by select from list by label. This time, we are going to perform the operation on this box. So, first inspect the element and find it out the name of this list box. So, here we will find it out selenium commands as a name. We can also use it the id as well, but right now here I am using name. So, selenium command and we, are, we have selected the label. So, that's why we need to select the label so i am using switch commands here switch commands again let's select one more component select from list by index this time i am using index so here again copy and paste same name and now let's add the index value Let's say I want to select 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4th. So I will add here 4th option. Add the sleep time. Sleep of 3 seconds. And close the browser. 
close browser let's save this and run it select first and then run this now this time it will select two options out of the list now you can see first selected switch commands Fourth option is it's not. Uh, let's run it again. Maximize the window. We are able to see only one option here so let me add by index r to label only and see the result so that we can find it out the options list by space label and here let's copy second label as a web elements command Now run this. Now you can see it is selected both the options and then close the browser. So this is how we can work it whenever we have multiple uh, list box. So if we want to unselect any of the uh, option, so here we can use unselect, then control space bar by label and copy same content here, then switch command. Let's say if I want to unselect any of the options from there. Control Z. Insert one more row. Add here sleep time of 3 seconds so that you are able to see uncheck option as well. Now first selected both the options, wait it for 3 seconds, now uncheck switch command and then it will close the browser. So this is how it works, drop down list and list boxes in Google framework, how we can handle it is very easy to use it. Hope you liked it, if you really enjoyed this session, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Thank you for watching.